Well, new information tonight. A Baltimore man will spend the maximum time in federal prison after pleading guilty to having a gun within a school zone. This comes just months after the U.S. Attorney for the State of Maryland, Eric Barron, vowed to crack down on criminals and prosecute more gun cases. Alexa Ashwell spoke with Barron today and has more. Alexa. Well, Kai, Mary, this defendant, Lawrence Russo, is currently serving a seven-year sentence for a state conviction. Court records also show he's well known to law enforcement, specifically here in Baltimore City, as well as in Anne Arundel County. Well, this sentencing, Barron says, is his office is looking at every provision in the federal case in order to better hold criminals accountable. Five years in prison. That's the sentence 33-year-old Lawrence Russo received in federal court after pleading guilty to having possession of a firearm within 1,000 feet of a school as part of a plea deal. We got a, a five-year max under the school zone provision. It's a statute Maryland's U.S. Attorney Eric Barron admits his office hasn't historically enforced, but is now. We're being aggressive about uh, firearms and violence uh, in Maryland, particularly in Baltimore City. And uh, the school zone statute in particular is one in, in which the office has not historically uh, enforced. But we are enforcing it um, because we think, you know, we need to send a message uh, to, you know, people out there who would do violence uh, in our communities. Back in August, Barron vowing to help Baltimore City's crime crisis by cracking down on criminals. This Al Capone model of prosecution is designed to take violent people off the streets by any appropriate legal means necessary. And most recently, during an Ivan Bates Take Back Our Streets town hall, specifically committing to taking on more gun cases. We're uh, lowering our criteria for taking cases. We're trying to take as many gun cases and work with the state's attorney's office as possible. Russo's case, Barron says, a latest example. The defendant's plea agreement detailing in June 2021, Russo was spotted in a stolen car and Baltimore City Police attempted to stop him. The pursuit ending with his arrest approximately 500 feet from Bel Air Edison Middle School in Northeast Baltimore. At the time, investigators say Russo had a gun on him, specifically a ghost gun. There's a proliferation of ghost guns in our communities. Barron says Russo's conviction should be a message to criminals. Absolutely, it's an example. Uh, and in fact, we're not only just taking more gun cases, everybody in our office is going to be assigned a gun case. Uh, so not just uh, cases uh, from our violent crime section prosecutors. Everybody in our office is participating in this effort to combat violent crime. Russo also ordered three years supervised release and according to Barron will now receive credit for time already served. Reporting live in Baltimore, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.